And I believe that is the signal that we're live. Oh. Yeah. The mouse cursor can show up in this window. Ooh, spooky. I didn't know about that. That's interesting. All right, everybody. Hey, and welcome to the Mike and Game stream for um, the 24th of June. Ooh, seven days until July 1st. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, today we're playing more uh, Earthbound, in particular Mother 2, which is the Japanese release of Earthbound. And we're going to have a, a good old time with it. Um, I hope. Me too. And it's going to be, yeah. It's gonna so be. last time we left off, we got the Soundstone, and that was about it, if I recall. Yeah. I don't Our know. dog won't come with us. I don't think he wants to fight yeah. people. So looks like we got all our health and all our psychic points in check. Yeah. I believe we need 15 more experience to level up. This is IQ is a bit low though. Well, he. I, I don't know if he's really supposed to have that I, I high was, of an IQ. I was trying to make a joke, but apparently it wasn't very good. Apparently. Yeah, we're not playing Parallel Worlds today. Which is that's um, like some time other than today. <laughs> such a relief! I can't even begin to express well, it. I know what to do now because I cheated. Yeah, I guess Tom cheated. Now I'm gonna try and maybe make this. That that looks better. All right. I readjusted the window slightly before we started streaming, which was a bad idea by all accounts, but it's good now. She's good now. She learned that you always win when you were good. I think you should give Mike and Games points for whoever can guess what that's Haven't from. we already tried to I ask someone? I don't think so. Uh, I'll, mm, okay. Yeah, I guess I'll award points to anyone who can guess that. Looks like we got a cookie. And that's something. And then, We got a cookie. This would be uh, a bread wall. Hmm. Oh, soundstone. Right. Yeah. So I'm actually gonna use this cookie because I like to keep all my key items next to each other. Otherwise, I get confused, like you just saw. Fighting the coil snake now. Um. I feel like it's imperative to have tech speed up yeah. on this game because it actually can improve um, how well you do in battle. But for now we're just doing some basic grinding, level grinding stuff. Yeah, so which, we can beat Frank. Yeah, well, it's pretty essential. Um, mostly after you can get the cheap bracelet, um, you can pretty much be frank yeah. at that point, but we might level up a little bit past that. One of my favorite gaming game secrets in all of gaming is uh, actually this little bit over here. I can't remember if you have to talk to him or not. Nope, guess not. Alright, there's this secret hideout you can find, yeah. and you can get one of um, the better items in the game, well at least at this stage in the game. Um, totally free. Yay. That's a Mr. Baseball cap in the American, uh, I guess it would be American versions, North American version yeah. anyway. Because this game didn't get a, re uh, a release in Europe. This is a hmm. hamburger. This Until recently, it actually got released on Virtual Console. This is how well he knows the game. It's, it's quite scary, actually. Yeah. Well, I think that if you can beat, like, a, <laughs> a full Japanese language RPG, that, that says a little, a little, at least a little bit about how well, or how familiar you, familiar you are with the game. Um, there is one part that's going to give us a considerable amount of trouble later on, uh, because it involves a lot of item exchanging. collecting and item exchanging, and it's not a load of fun, but I was able to get through it the last time I tried. 
so. You may even play this game again as a hack. Oh yeah, yeah, we, we might play some uh, hacks of, if not this game, but like a, the English yeah. version. And like I said, as we go through this adventure, I will let you guys in on various... Turbo tips? Turbo ti yeah, turbo tips. That's what they're called. Ooh, Leveled up. So level four. Ooh. Learned a new power. Healing or whatever. Um, no, I don't think it's healing. Can you see our PSI? Yeah. Um, that's life up alpha. Might be hypnosis. Mm. I guess we could always tr try it out, but I'm. I wouldn't be surprised if that was hypnosis alpha. Mm. And the game just. There we go, we're back. Uh, that was kind of weird. Alright. Yep. Moving right along. That's weird. Huh. Don't know what's causing that. Hopefully that doesn't start to happen too often. Alright. Oh wait, the... I bet one of those items we have is a cash card. Yeah? Oh. I thought you did... Never mind. What? Never what? mind. I thought we had a bread roll, but I guess we don't. No, I think we might use that. Okay. Um. Oh, I'm not really. I don't think I'm ready to take on the sharks right now. No, we can take on the sharks. Uh, maybe I don't. We can. Depends on. If well, we I mean, okay. Or not. I'll take on one shark real quick just to see. But I don't have the greatest feelings yet, only at level 4. Mm -hmm. I guess we can take on this guy since he... Uh, oh. Okay, that, that worked out okay. I thought he was going to get buddies. Okay. So this is um, Pogo Punk. And he's uh, pretty difficult at this uh, point when you don't have um, the, the cheap bracelet. Which is which helps immensely. It's a great defensive item for this time in the game. Yeah. Oh, uh, I think he might have dropped a hammer. Yeah. That's cool. which is kind of kind of rare. It's not the rarest thing these guys drop, if I recall. I think there's a one of the elusive one out of 128 items over here that they can drop. What is that? It's nothing big. It might be a PSI caramel or something. Oh, I actually think that's a happy happiest later on. Something like that. Hmm. But, uh... Let's, let's take a look at the shop. Okay. Alright, so we got... This is, um... The baseball bat we currently have. This is the one up from there. As you as you can see, Tom, they, they share the, oh. the Bato symbol. So there at the end you can tell that it's a, it's a baseball bat. Okay, the last three characters. Yeah. Well, it's really the last four, because four, you got no, oh. uh, and then that. Okay, yeah. I guess. I guess. This, can you guess what this is, Tom? Uh, it's yo-yo? Yep. And oh. then this is the cheap bracelet we want to get. So, let's, um, we have we enough have money enough for it. it. And I don't see any reason not to get it. Let's do that real quick. Yeah. I don't think we'll have enough to get the... Um, bat though at the same time. We could always <coughs> sell our plastic bat and then try it. Hmm. But if we sell, mm, uh, yeah, that, that, might as well try that. Uh, yeah. So here we go. This is the bat. Nine dollars will not be enough. Okay. Well, we could sell a cookie as well. You know, let's just get a few more dollars off of enemies, anyway. Rain. Well, I, I, I guess you want to do, like, a low-level run, but... Mac Derby has joined the chat. Too late to win undeserved points for obscure pop culture references. If not, when the good comes from the Christmas tree. Wow! wow. That's that's incredible. Yes, you, you do win points for that. Um, <laughs> I don't know how many I said. I, I don't think we said a number. That's that's worth at least at least twenty points. That that's incredible. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> well, the Christmas tree. 
that was that was something watching that for the first <laughs> time like it's it's actually almost a little bit boring until that ending and then that's just it's just too much for me to handle yeah I'll, like kill another one of these guys and then we should have enough we probably have like enough right now yeah probably have you heard of that there's like a meta game in earthbound it's like called shark baiting or something have you heard about this tom it's where you see, I done made a mistake. Um, it's where you see how far you can lure the sharks away from um, their basic spawn area. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's one part with the um, skateboard punks. They call friends. I think maybe these guys do too. Yeah. The yes man, yes man junior. I think is their name. But overall, they're not too bad. We probably could have <coughs> that. Like, yeah, yeah might as well. And of course, the coolest thing about one of the coolest things about Earthbound um, for the RPG genre, in my opinion, is the uh, way you can see all the enemies on the screen, which is something that its predecessor definitely doesn't do. And um, how, even with that element of being able to see the enemies, yeah, they also throw in that. Oh, we leveled up. They also throw in the mix of being able to enter the battle in a certain way to be able to change well not necessarily change the outcome but change who gets the opening hits yeah which is kind of interesting all right i think you can actually just yeah that's one thing that's um nice about this version or not really this we version only need like 10, 13, 13. Right? that's nice about this game in comparison to earthbound beginnings is that in this game, you aren't forced to um, uh, put like select your cash card from your list every time yeah. you want to use it. Here, you just have to hit the uh, L button, which was, if I recall, some like strange marketing tactic for this game was saying that you could like play it while eating pizza, or that I mean like that's something that's associated with this game, but I can't exactly remember how there was this weird um, video game reviewer who like kind of was around in the uh, the 90s I think early 2000s yeah a navigator I think he was called and uh, he did like a review of this game which was really odd because like he physically demonstrated eating the pizza while playing it oh it was weird he's a weird guy I don't know that much about it but did you get a hamburger? These are not hamburgers. This is like a lemonade or a fr fruit drink. Okay. It, it actually doesn't restore that much um, HP, mm. so I just use it early on. Might as well fight this guy. Fighting people's wrong, Michael. There's there's a point later on in this game that I really want to um, show off. It, it is another one of those moments I didn't discover till one of my later playthroughs. Much like yeah, getting the are we uh, gonna get the head? Sword of Keens? Oh. Oh, no. Let's go home, actually, real quick and heal up. Okay. And then we'll come back into town and... And ignore my question some more. Well, the Sword of Keens, um, as I mentioned earlier, there's like a few items that only have a 1 out of 128 drop rate. And the Sword of Keens is one of those. It's an item for your the fourth member of your party, and it's really good. I think it's the best offensive item in the game, but it's um, nearly impossible to find. I don't think I ever have. You found it? Well, I found one 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 of the worst things that's ever happened to me in a video game is um, I was playing through. I was playing through Earthbound on um, the SNES on an emulator and. What happened was I got to the final area of the game, and then there's this really strong enemy called the Bionic Kraken, and it's a 100, 1 out of 128 enemy as well, and it drops the Gutsy Bat, yeah. which is the best bat you can get in the game, and um, having it was the first time I ever played Earthbound, actually, so I didn't really know what was going on. I just assumed it was at like a like a hundred percent drop rate, since that enemy is not only is it difficult, but it's also pretty rare. Yeah. 
So I didn't. I thought nothing of it and just beat the game without saving with the bat. And uh, now that accomplishment will never be known to anyone but myself. It's not yeah. something I can share. Because I don't believe him. Oh. Well, it happened. <laughs> Whatever that's worth. There's there's the Sword of Kings, there's the Gutsy Bat, there's um, I think it might have been called the Magic Frying Pan. That's a weapon you can get for Paula. Paula doesn't need a weapon. She just needs PSI power. That's yeah, well, she's at least a little bit more useful than Anna is. And the first Earthbound Mother game. Anna is pretty powerful with her PSI beam. Yeah, I mean that's powerful, but like she dies so easily that it's hardly ever useful. You know what I mean? I think it's extremely useful. Yeah, you would you're know. You're not appreciative you, enough. Sh you would know having beat the game, right? Oh wait, you haven't. But um, yeah, the problem with with Anna as a PSI, you know, magic user character, is that there's a lot of enemies which are completely resistant to ma the magic attacks, the PSI attacks. So it ends up being that all that she's really good for is healing. Oh, we got a hamburger. Yeah, they have an extremely low drop rate. I didn't say it was an extremely rare drop rate. I said it was a... a I don't think I said extremely rare. It, was, it is a rare drop rate, though. It's not something that's just going to happen all the time. Hmm. I wonder. What? I don't know. You were going like, hmm. Well, I, I just... It's been a, a little bit since I've played this game, so I'm just trying to relearn the mechanics entirely. Like, for example, there, it doesn't stay focused on the enemy you last attacked. You gotta <clears throat> designate that manually. Which isn't that surprising. Let's go into the game arcade. Okay. You'll notice here that it's like Galaxian, Donkey Kong, and... Some other game, I'm not entirely sure. Popeye, but Popeye, maybe. Yeah, I think that's what it is. It might be. It, it actually, it might be Radar Scope. It might be the uh, game that looks kind of like Galaxian. I've only ever been able to get around that guy one time. I don't think you're supposed to be able to. <laughs> Probably not. Tom's not as big a fan of this game as I am. Oh, another hamburger. I'll take it. Uh, uh, something, something, something. He didn't want to fight, apparently. Come back after you've beaten Mother 2. That guy asks you uh, if you want to join their game, and then if you say yes, he tells you to come back after you've beaten Earthbound, which is amusing. And breaks the fourth wall. Yeah. There's, there's a bit of fourth wall breaking humor in this game. I think there might be some in the original game as well. Like Super Mario Brothers. Oh, yes. Well, that, that's not so much like it. Yeah. It almost is better for making that those references, I guess. It like gives a certain amount of realism to the whole thing. Alright, I think I've beaten up all the sharks that are required of me, except for this guy. So I'll just have a hamburger, and I'll fight him. Oh, sorry. Here we go. And then if you say you don't want to be, he's like, don't be such a snob. Can't make up his mind. 15 experience, and here we are, guys, at the first boss of the game. Have a cookie. Cookie. We're gonna fight him. Mm. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Some of the best music in um, video game history. Look at the way he holds one of his knives. It's just like. It's just like Tom does a visual representation no one can see. Yes. All right. It's it's so. So weird. this this battle can go. Um, pretty much either way. That was a really good um, hit. <laughs> it's, but it can go either way. You know? it, well, it really can at this level. We 
This is the lowest I've ever been able to pick him on at, you know? Um, the next the next part of it is a little bit a little bit nicer. I'd probably get a hit in on him. Then I'll restore my health and see how much this does. It does 14. Okay. So basically this this guy's thing is that he um, he has to charge you up once and then attacks. Which is really good for you because you're able to sort of um, heal between turns. And there we go. Yay, wow. A level 6. Beat him at level 6 there. Pretty good. Yay. And some text. I won't. I'll be a good guy now. <laughs> that, that's pretty much what he's saying, I'm pretty sure. Mm, I don't know if he's necessarily says that. But what this does, what does happen now, is that he becomes a uh, a healing spot, hmm. which is a, no, another little trick that I wish I would have known earlier on, earlier on. But the game's not terribly difficult anyway, so it's okay. It reminds me of Teddy. Yeah. When I was playing through uh, Earthbound Beginnings, there's a character called Teddy who's sort of like a game boss, and my sister was making that connection too. How they look very similar. All right, our next stop is to the mayor's office. Actually, I almost walked right by it. Mm -hmm. Tom really would like to be pl playing parallel worlds right now. Oh yeah. I don't. I don't know why for the life of me. <laughs> I'm addicted. <laughs> it's. I, I don't get it. So addicted to it. Um, earlier on, if you were to come in here, they'd kick you out. But now that we've beaten the local gang problem, we're kind of like town heroes, I guess. This is like G.H. Perkle or something. He's the mayor, the, the, the sort of corrupt mayor. Both Earthbound games have sort of corrupt mayors. Yay. So we got the key now to the shack. Um, Earlier we went up near that area. I believe this is the key. Am I looking at the right? Yeah. 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 Um, earlier we went up there just for a moment, but we didn't really do anything. Now we're gonna do stuff. Yep. Or something. Or yeah, stuff or something. And this is gonna be. Uh, the enemies here are quite. Quite good for leveling up. Yeah, it's, it, it can be really nice for leveling. I don't know how we're gonna uh, face this necessarily this time because of our level. But here, here's an interesting area. It's a it's a house you can't go into, but there's like weird whispering people inside of it. But you can never actually enter this location, so don't know what the purpose of it is, other than just to maybe be sort of a joke. Oh, that crow doesn't like us. As you get more powerful in levels, enemies will start to run away from you. Making it good to like... And we got a cookie. Yeah, like, crows actually have a 100% drop rate on cookies. You do? Yep. Are you sure? Positive. You want to test that theory? I, I bet you any crow I fight... Okay, so now the shack's open. This guy's going to give us a great charm. I think that's what it's called anyway. It's a charm of some sort, and it protects against, um... Great things? No, I can't remember what it does right now. Let's fight this dog real quick. Okay, we're gonna go find a crow so I can prove Tom my theory. Um, if I recall, <clears throat> dogs drop bread rolls some of the time. Crows drop cookies 100% of the time. Can't remember what snakes have. Snakes got nothing. I thought they had something, maybe not. Maybe it's cookies as well. Once again, only some of the time. Yeah, because everything just has cookies in their pockets. Yeah, I guess if you want to be that way, you can get technical about it. The clown people are gone now. We opened up their shack for them. But, um... Okay, I can't find any. We'll just move on with the yeah. thing. Trust me, it's true, though. Uh, 
so now we're going to start our journey that, that Buzz Buzz, the not be thing, sent us on. We're going to find the various sanctuary locations, which are hidden in dungeons like this one. And we're going to... Um, Humble people that are in the dungeon. We're going to take those and we're going to collect them in our soundstone. So that we can become united with the earth. Oh. Nicely done. Um, those mice, though they seem kind of weak, are, can actually be pretty brutal. They have this uh, this high smash rate. And smashes are basically your, your criticals for this game. Yeah. So they, they can hit for a lot of damage. I These think you can guys tell aren't very strong, but they come in pretty great number. Yeah. I think you can actually tell right now. I think usually when I play this, they only do deal about one damage. Yeah. But um, here they're dealing two. Obviously, we're a little bit low on level. But look at all that EXP. Wow. We'll be able to level up quickly, though. Yeah. So It's nothing to worry about. Um, there's three different enemy types in this that I can think of. Here's the third one. You have the attack slugs, you have the rowdy mice, and you have these guys, which are antoids. Yeah. Were, were you going to say something? No. I don't know. The skip skip sandwich, I'm assuming. Uh, Suki... Uh, Sugi? Su... Su something. That's a... It's a Poe symbol, I believe. Um... I'm going to use this right away just because I want to test my theory. I believe this is a skip sandwich. Okay. Um, and if it is, it'll let us go slightly faster. Yep. So as you can see, we, we, our speed, our overworld maps speed walking speed has increased. increased. Which, um, see, oh, here, here's what we were talking about with uh, the high smash rates. See, two smashes in a row. That's, that's pretty good. In, um... Earthbound Beginnings, that, that kind of hit would probably kill you outright. Yeah. But here things are a little more generous. Okay. Cash card, Soundstone, a bunch of equip stuff. Looks like all we can do is heal. heal. I'm not sure what these guys drop overall. I guess we'll find out eventually. If they drop something. Yeah. So it's kind of just going through the uh, motions with these battles and just, you know... Bash you're, and everything. Yeah. You're not likely to uh, lose against these guys, yeah. but um, it, it does sort of become like a, a process. Unless you're like level 1 or something. Which I don't think you can be level 1 and still be in this room. Definitely not. Um... I don't really think there's anything over there I want. Okay. We still haven't had PSI milk. Yeah, I don't think we get that to level 10. Okay, so the Antoids as well can um, sort of cause some issues. Let's get rid of the mice first. We'll do a life up. And we'll, and we'll be able to sort of take these guys on. You can get it into... Sometimes you can get the guys to just um, call for more people and more people. And that can be sort of a leveling up trick. Yeah. Later in the game, you, you fight this cult. I mean, we'll get there when we do, but... We're like level 8 now. Yeah. Oh, I guess it's level 8 that you learned PK, PK milk. milk. I like that. Um, but I guess it's at... at um, Level. What am I talking about? Well, yeah, you encounter this cult and you can use them to power level. I was able to get like maybe 20 of them to appear in one battle. Yeah. Like, not, obviously not on the screen at the same time. I don't know if I'd be able to render sprites like that, but. You know what I mean. Sometimes you can find attack slugs just by themselves, but usually if it's not in a big group, you can assume it's. These ant guys. Yeah. They're good. They're good for uh, leveling up, though. So let's check real quick. I believe we need 367 more experience. Let's keep on walking. Don't want to overuse P 
PSI. PSI. But luckily, um, once you get out of the main cave area, there's a little trick you can pull off to recover your psychic points. So here, this is an interesting matchup, and one that uh, you don't see that often is both an attack slug and an antoid. Huh? I was going to try to make a reference, but I forgot. What? Xanoids. There. There we go. Xan... Uh, what, Adventure Time? Yeah. Oh. Plantoids and Xanoids. This will probably just be exclusively attack slugs here. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> you damaged these guys. They're just slugs. Like, well, I mean, really, that's all they probably are because they're, they're pr quite impressive for slugs, though. Yeah, you have to give them that, I guess. I'd be thoroughly freaked out by this situation if it were happening to me. Yeah. I don't think I could deal. We're almost to level nine, I think. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, this is the trick I was talking about. So, you grab one of these guys, and this is like a uh, magic butterfly spawn point. And what they do is they give you a PSI back. Twenty, I believe. Yeah, we we now now we're full up on PSI, but I want to make sure that we're totally maxed out. Yeah. So we're gonna go back in here, fight some more, then um, probably like repeat the process. Yeah. It's a level 9. Level 10 is usually when you're sitting good to beat the boss. Yeah. But we could probably do it a little earlier yeah. if we get lucky. He, he can be he can be tough. It really comes down to uh, using that special PSI move. Milk! In this case, yeah, PK milk. That's going to be a huge factor in whether or not we're going to be able to beat him early. Or lose. Hmm. Yeah. To him. I, I wouldn't be that disappointed if we lost to him just because we are sort of taking this at a lower level. Yeah. I would, however, be disappointed if we lost to an antoid or regular slug. enemies. Yeah. Okay. You I don't see that happening. They're definitely the biggest threat, the antoids, compared to the slugs. Yeah. The mice can be threats though too. Okay, we're level nine now. Let's heal then. And go out here. There's another another one showed up. They don't show up all the time, but they show up a lot of the time. We're gonna take it out here. All right. This can be a good, pretty good place to level two, if I recall. And sometimes you can actually end up um, start killing them instantly. Yeah. Here. I don't know if we're. At that point, this is, can get, I think like, this is the hamburger. Let's check our. Not that. Yep. So that's uh, that's probably a good thing to have. If we can get like a slug by itself, we can probably like take it out. Oh, we we never tried to. Looks like he keeps on reviving his HP. Um. We never tried out what that extra PSI move we got was, but I guess there's really no reason to. Yeah. Let's see how things go. The um, the boss of this area is um, ooh. Well, this isn't ideal, but if worse comes to us worse, we can use some PSI here. Yeah. All right. It's just down to one. Until he calls somebody. Yeah. We we can sometimes get him, but it seems like we're dealing just usually very... about one point under what we need to. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna take on these guys too. Oh You stepped too far. Yeah. Okay, he began off with a pretty ridiculous move. So hopefully that's a good sign. Turn too late on that one. It should Yep. Mm -hmm. 
What is that? Hmm. Let's take a look. I think that's a, just a cookie. Yep. So it would appear. This will probably be another Antoid. Yeah. I thought that there were some slugs in here. I guess I was wrong. Ooh, we beat him in one hit. We're so good. That was pretty lucky. Another one. Alright. We'll take that must be a somewhat piece. rare item. Since we had fought so many before, but... Yeah. It's kind of lucky that we were able to get him just like that. Alright. Hey, there's <sighs> one more. Is there? Yeah. Oh, I guess he's... Yeah. Alright. Let's move on through the cave. Um, sometimes this last stretch can give you a little bit of problems. Basically, all you want to do, though, is just be able to um, get through this part conserving, like, that hamburger, probably. Yeah. And it should... things should play out in your favor, I, I would imagine. Yeah. It depends. Like, sometimes the enemies show up, sometimes they don't. Unfortunately, it seems like this time they... they are all showing up. They're all antoids. Yeah. If they were just the slugs, we could probably deal with that just fine. Okay, here's the first boss, guys. Let's see how much this hamburger. 42. So it didn't actually restore all our health. What do you think? Want to try it anyway, Tom? Yeah, let's try it. So this is the first jurisdictionary location. Take it from me if you dare. We will. And this is Titanic Ant. We're going to begin off with some, some milk. milk. And he's going to hit us pretty hard. Okay, how many did you just deal, deal to us? Like 29, I think. Should we use a life up? or yeah, let's use life up. Yeah, so he deal, he's dealing around that, that 20 range. And milk him. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a close one. It always is. We have one more for yeah. He's trying... Oh, magnet. That's not good. But he used it twice, so that's actually... Oh! Is he going to use it again? If we can just get it, some more attacks in on him. I don't know why he's doing that. That's uh, really to our favor. Usually he goes for a, a bite at this point. Oh! Close. Wow! Yes, that was in incredibly lucky. That that stream <laughs> of events doesn't even make sense. It looks like he might have used um, offense, offense down, perhaps. Maybe, but I can't tell. We it, can't read Japanese. <laughs> yeah. So. Um, but this heals us up and yep. stuff. It makes the enemy scared. Yep. So there'll be easy pickings. Mm. And there's really no reason why you shouldn't try and pick them off going back through. Because this isn't Zelda. You have to go back through the dungeon. Yeah. Which is usually fine. Yeah. But, um, yeah, so this is Giant Step. It's the first Your Sanctuary location. We learned the first melody. And now if we go into our goods right here in the train, you'll see that we have the first... So, part of the song and we still need the other seven and there you can listen to each every part of the song in time yep it'll be a like. while before we get the next melody though yep that's not what, what is the next one it's yeah it's not for a while Paula or whatever after we get Paula yeah happy happy village Mm. Okay. And usually, and usually that's one that I end up skipping for the time being anyway, because it's actually a lot easier to come back for it later. Yeah. But maybe we could take it on, try and take it on, you know. Yeah. Right away this time. But yeah, even so, you'll notice all the enemies are afraid of us. This isn't actually because of our level. It's just because oh, two of them. Yeah. It's just because we beat the um, beat the dungeon. So we'll see here. Um, really these guys aren't as terrible as they would appear because, um, much like Antoids, they can only yeah. deal like 11 damage max. Okay. 
But this makes, as you can see, we get green yeah. swirls, so we can take them um, out. take some of these guys out just by just by touching them, which is good for. Oh. Oh, really? Looks like I made a mistake there. Not a big one though. But it makes them uh, good for a little bit of power leveling. Yeah. Another cookie. Oh, looks like there's actually two of them there. With the smaller guys, it's kind of hard to actually tell if you're sneaking up behind them or not, or what, yeah. what direction they're facing. That was pretty nice. Yep. Three of them showed up there. 111 experience, dropped a cookie, grabbed a cookie, leveled up. Ooh, ooh. Let's um, go ahead and heal here and get the butterfly that may or may not be spent. Yeah. Okay, looks like we got healing as well now. Healing doesn't actually recover HP, though. It recovers um, from status effects. Yeah. Except for the really annoying ones like, I don't know, mushroom? <laughs> yeah. Okay, it wasn't out there, so let's try again. There it is. The mushroom status effect can be quite something, but it's also a very, it's like, one of those things that's so, like, frustrating that it, it ends up being kind of one of the most memorable parts of the game. Because <laughs> for the most part, this game isn't too hard. It's actually probably one of the easiest RPGs. Yeah. Especially in comparison to uh, Earthbound Beginnings, Mother 1. This game is very generous yeah. with everything. Because that game, it... You lose the strongest member. Yeah, of you get this really strong character, and then it, it perma-kills him, pretty much. It's yeah. like perma-death. And the thing about that is, is that there's actually a way to get around losing him. Yeah. Whether, like, planned on part of the developers or not. So it's kind of like, um... Wow, there's a lot of enemies. It's, it's kind of like... If you feel like it's your own fault when it happens, because you didn't know going yeah. in. So it just feels like the game's actually being difficult rather than, you know, trying to tell a story. Yeah. Piece of the story. Um, at least in the Japanese version, the character is actually dead. In the. Uh, at least. No, I mean. No, I, what I mean is, like. Um, maybe I, I worded that wrong. Um, I think I was just trying to say, in the Japanese version, the character is actually dead, but in the uh, U.S. release that we got here just a, really a couple days ago, it was like um, a week ago from Sunday. Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't that long ago. All right, the, the cops are here to bust us for breaking into the shack, even though the mayor let Sorry, us we could. We, could, we could have the key and let us into the shack. But I guess he's not making sure we're, sure we're following him. Yeah. Okay, let's see this cookie drop here. Okay. <laughs> you feeling a little salty? Use some of those. Um, cookies are really just item. It just takes up an inventory space, so... There's not too much of a reason to keep them around, especially now that we know... Unless you're trying to get the T-Rex back challenge. Oh boy, how how fun would that be to no, do? No, it's too your... much grinding with Jeff. Yeah, I don't like Jeff. All right, well, regardless, hopefully if I can get a capture card, what would be a really fun stream is I have a copy of Earthbound, right? The English release. I, I have a, both the Virtual Console version and an actual cartridge, which interestingly enough, Tom. Yeah. The original rating for Earthbound was K through A. Yeah. But the re-release was rated teen. I know. Which is kind of strange. Should we take these guys on right now, or...? Let's, like, save or something. I'm gonna go back home, I guess. Yeah. Um, but the... Yeah. Lost my train of thought. Oh, yeah. Nice. But, the, but the cartridge I have, it worked fine when we got it, but then it started acting up. Yeah. And it really never stopped. And, like, really creepy things can happen. Like, scary music and sounds. It's like the stuff that Creepypasta is made of. Um, is it true that you can't, like, uh, s ship lithium batteries in a game? Yeah. Uh, like, from Japan, at yeah. least. I don't know if that's true of everywhere. But that's a, that was a big deal for me, because eventually I wanted to get that awesome Mother 3 deluxe box set thing. Yeah. 
and that has uh, like lithium ion batteries in it because it's a Game Boy Micro. Yeah. So, oh, we're we're getting a dream message from um, Paula, Susie. Oh, I'm sorry, Susie. And she's telling us that we need to find her. No, we don't. We don't. We're need a friend. Her. She's never met. Before. We don't. We don't need your help. We can do it all by ourselves. I think she needs our help, Tom. Because oh. she's being trapped by insane cultist people. And Porky. Yeah. Way to spoil that. Oh, I'm sorry. It doesn't, it doesn't actually matter. But, uh... What was I going to say? Yeah, but it like makes really weird noises. It does strange things. Um, <laughs> Tom wasn't around for this. I was hanging out with... Uh, user Bay2124 and uh, we were trying to get the cartridge to work and it was working fine and we like left for a little bit you know and I didn't want to turn it off because I, I was afraid if we turned it off then it would like delete my save when we turned it back on right yeah and uh, come back and it's playing the victory music but keeps on changing it just slightly at different pitches yeah. So like it'll start off and then it'll just randomly hit a really high pitch and then go back down. It was it was weird. We actually got some footage of that that I'm planning on using for a a video at some point. You need to make videos again. Yeah, I got videos that I I need to work on videos. We need to do bootleg green again. Yeah. Something uh, something something. But streaming is just so much fun. Yeah, I enjoy streaming far more than the let's play process. I mean, what we'll do, we'll finish Bootleg Green probably, but maybe we'll end up streaming it towards the end. Yeah. Because, I don't know, I just, the let's, let's plays are, they're very time consuming and tedious. But not like streaming, for whatever reason. Yeah. Alright, let's see how we can do. Probably save up PSI. Yeah, for, for, uh, the chief guy. Uh oh. Yeah, these guys are tough. They're one tough cookie. Uh -huh. <laughs> you only have to be super. Like... He's got super Power. something. Perfectly, you know every aspect of this game. Um. <laughs> no, I haven't considered speedrunning anything. I feel like I just make a a bit of a fool of myself, but um I don't know, maybe. What do you think? Maybe we could try. We might wanna look up some glitches. Yeah, Ooh, I guess we could do well, like a glitch mm -hmm. a a glitch playthrough of a game. Yeah. Um what what game are you thinking? Well, if it was me, I would pick Twilight Princess, but I might save that for a video on my channel that I'm I'm not sure if I'll end up making. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Tom's got a channel that he's working on. I don't know. I, I'd like to speedrun Earthbound. Yeah. I'd, I'd be up for speedrunning um, any of the other games if I could pull it off. Yeah. All right. So now it's up to Boss Man, and this is another fight that can go either way. Because this guy's like, whoa. I'm so scared. <laughs> yeah, the last guy just runs off. Okay, I think it's time to milk it. <laughs> right, should we begin off with that or should we begin off with a heal? Let's... Uh, yeah, I'll begin off with this. Yeah. Ooh, that might have been a bad choice, actually. We could probably press it fast yeah. enough where... Oh, he just did that thing. Alright, that's okay then. Milk it! We are getting... It was a considerable amount of luck. This this part can hang people up for a very long time. It can be tough. All right, so we beat Captain um, Strong. Yeah. Or Sergeant Strong. Captain Strong or Sergeant Strong. Can't remember what his name is. It's one of those. Anyway, we're off to Tucson now. Yep. See Paula's parents. Paula Bliss. Yeah. I guess that it's Susie. Oh, yeah, right. Susie. I did consider, actually, on the sort of the topic of speedrunning, um, even though it wasn't technically a speedrun, I did consider doing, and I still want to do it at some point, a 
live, um, complete playthrough of this game um, for like a, a charity stream type thing. I think I might have mentioned this previously. Let's grab one of these guys. What about Mother 3? I'd like to do that with Mother 3, though. I don't know. Okay. Would it be So like this is a exit mouse. It helps you get out of um, dungeons, or dungeons, which is really important. But I just see people do like uh, charity streams for Child's Play in St. Jude, and that seems like a really cool, a really cool thing to do. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, this battle is actually going easier than I would have yeah. expected. Well, we got the um, first hit in. Or yeah. And then, well, they haven't been doing much either. Yeah. Whole lot of nothing. People often criticize this game for having backgrounds which are kind of abstract, but I think that's one of the things that is really great about it. I believe this is a hamburger? Yep. Okay. Here's a... a uh, mushroom. I don't like the mushrooms. I think they're, they're mean. Ramblin' Evil Mushrooms is the uh, name of them. And they have this really annoying status effect that they can give you where an, a mushroom appears on your head and it might not seem like anything's wrong at first but your attacks you can start attacking yourself oh wow they really uh they really want me to get this two mushrooms and um also your control of the overworld map gets all funked up it's really hard to move on after getting the yeah. status. I'm surprised effect. you haven't actually given it to me yet. It's a little bit shocking. But we've been lucky this round. We, we have been really lucky today. <laughs> wow. This is a ton, though. This is more than usually show up at all um, during this section. I'll just walk around him. Because there's other enemies that are just as experienced. Yeah. Heavy and... Like the sprouts or whatever. Yep, the, the mobile sprouts. Alright, let's go... Hotel here. The first thing we want to do is probably call... Home. Your dad, you mean. The yeah. phone. Yeah. Dad, the phone. Alright. And I'm also going to call... Ness's mom real quick. And the reason I'm doing that is because there's this... Slight chance, and I. Uh, oh yeah, she turned me turned me over to, to Tracy. I don't want anything though. Uh, it turns out your sister's working for this. Um, it was like a packing agency or an yeah. item holding agency or something like that, shipping agency. Um, and you can store items with her that you don't need in your inventory. But I don't think I've ever had to really use that in my time playing this. Yeah. That'd be, so, like, really useful if you could call Tracy with Jeff. Because then you could store a lot of items there. Oh, and then, yeah, and then use them to buy the T-Rex the yeah. bat. There's this uh, strange challenge you can pull off in this game um, where you use one of the characters later on to just get items because you can't actually store money during this portion of the game. Yeah. But you can beat enemies to grab um, money. And, and I mean grab money by getting their item and then selling that back yeah. to the store and there's this bat you can get which is something like seven hundred dollars and you can basically just grind with this character over and over again until you sold enough to be able to buy the bat and then after you beat his portion bring the bat back to Ness and he will have a crazy offense boost all right what is it? oh it's not that's no bat yeah, I bet this is the slingshot. That no, doesn't have too great of accuracy, yeah. if I remember right. It doesn't. And you'll notice that actually, talking to this guy again, that this spot is completely blanked out. That's because this is an item for one of the other characters. I just remembered what we want to do now, aside from just checking out the stores. Yeah. There's another area of this um, town which has stuff for sale. And we're yeah. going to want to check that out next. Hopefully they've got some good stuff for us. Yep. 
got quite a bit of cash. Can't remember how much exactly. I'm gonna withdraw 500. That's probably good. I think it's actually something close to 350, but just want a little extra money in case. What is it? I forget. Well, you're about to see. Just, just wait. Enjoy the experience of. Oh, one one quick thing while we're passing by. These are what the the Tanzura brothers. These guys were um, changed in the English localization of the game because uh, Nintendo of America felt they too closely resembled the Blues Brothers. So their um, uh, shirts and uh, hats were changed to be green and red. More like Mario yeah. and Luigi. Also, a little making them kind of similar in both like uh, color and and shape and size to Mario and Luigi. All right. So we got, got to go to this guy. Um, yep, 349, so I was, my memory served me critically. This is a uh, copper bracelet, and it increases our um, defense considerably. Okay, here we go. This is another, this is a little boss fight. Huh, I wonder if we should actually... Go to the hotel? Yeah, might as well. Yeah. Um, we could probably we take him milk on. him. Yeah, we could probably take him on, like... With just what we have, but PSI <sighs> milk is actually really no... us just taking a milk carting and just splashing it on the <laughs> enemy. Oh, and we get to do this too. So glad I came back this way. This is another photo opportunity. We saw one of these during the um, the first part of this playthrough. These are kind of important in a way. They're at least, at the very least, they're important to me, and we'll we'll see why. Much later on, but much, much. Yeah, much, 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 much later. So hotels are just nice because you can get all your psychic points back without having to hunt for and health um, butterflies. So this is a guy. Who like gives you the the newspaper headlines for the morning? Of course, that doesn't help us because we don't read Japanese. However, this guy can't help us. If you just bug him enough, eventually he'll he'll give you some cash. He like start making small talk with you or something, and he's like, "Here's some money, and it's enough for a uh, one night stay at the hotel." So nice. we we basically got all our money back. And while we're at that. We might as well just drop it off at the ATM because um, it is no use to us if we die. If we die, yeah. If, if you die, your, your health money gets cut in half. Yeah, we, we probably won't, but I uh, feel like might as well. Yeah. And just in case an yep. enemy gets like a smash on us. Yeah. Or something. Which I think is possible with this guy. He can be kind of tough. Yes, this is, uh, I guess in this game they call it M Musoto Park, which I think translates to like a thieves park or something. In the English version, it's called Burglin Park. Hey. Oh, should I fight that guy real quick? Oh. You can't. Darn, I can't. Um, this is Everdread. He's the boss of uh, Musoto Burglin Park area. And, um. We should have milked him. Yeah, I'm just sort of getting a. <laughs> that sounds so bad. Shh. I'm just sort of getting an idea of uh, if we would have been able to beat him or not without it. I might as well use it now. Alright. Is that going to knock him out? Yeah. The splash of milk. So we probably could have taken him on, but it's always just like, probably a better idea to have some PSI going into a battle. So he's going to tell us that... um. There's this girl, Susie. who's been kidnapped, and I believe he says that if we find her, we should come back and visit him. Let's fight this guy now. This is one of the most infamous enemies, I think, in the entire Earthbound series. It's uh, New the age. New Age Retro Hippie, who of course was uh, is a returning enemy from Earthbound Beginnings. Yeah. And... He's got some really great music. He's got the same music that Frank has, so it's, it's pretty great. Just give some life up. Yeah. Alright, next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to 
Oh, we shouldn't have put the money away. No, we're going to want to buy stuff. Yeah. Uh, we're going to want, we need to invest in something. So, stick out our money again. If, we, if, we, if I'm going to speedrun this game, and now that I feel a little bit inspired to, uh, uh, what we'd probably want to do is just take out like a ton of cash as soon as we have yeah. enough and just do a bunch of it all at once. Just keep a bunch because if we die, it's going to be really hard to... Mm. Yeah. Or maybe dying would be like, you would have to die purposely on some occasions. To be able to get farther. Yeah, just to have faster transportation. Um, that's, that's an interesting idea. Like, oh, because I because even though you finish things, it always warps you back to the, like the last telephone, right? Yeah. So um, like, there's probably when some you were tricks. going to Happy Happy Village or whatever. I probably want to save like right here, or so, mm -hmm. and then just do all Happy Happy Village or whatever. Crap. And then do we have die or whatever? This was... Exit Mouse. Exit Mouse. Crap. Another thing I forgot. Ah. What? We need to feed him, too. So we need to go buy some food. This will be a learning experience playthrough as I'm developing my speedrun tactics. And then we'll have a huge charity speedrun extravaganza. Perhaps. Perhaps. And I've got Maybe that we'll find it easier to to do it with Mother Three. Hmm. Like that's Tom's favorite game in the series, I think. Yeah, it is. And I like it too, but why would this... they breed it over here, Michael? I don't know. I don't know why they won't. It's probably just I, I was reading some interviews about it, and like some people are really hopeful now that it's going to come out over here. But I still have my doubts. It's Reggie was saying stuff about how um, let's just buy this. Well, if enough people buy how uh, Earthbound and Earthbound Beginnings, I think it has a fighting chance. Like my only thing, well, what he said was like three things that sort of are tipping me off to we should just give up. Uh, first of all, I said that Earthbound is pretty niche. So it looks like the whole how much it's been selling on Virtual Console doesn't actually matter. Yeah. Um, he also said that localizations cost a lot of money, and they need to offset. Uh, obviously, need to offset the um, like the, the sales need to offset the amount of the localization cost. So basically, it sounded like not really his pitch for why Mother Three could happen, but rather his pitch for why Mother Three probably definitely won't happen. You're just a hater who's gonna hate. I'm really not. Alright, there we go. Wants to make people sad. So now, um, this mouse is gonna give us a little device so we can communicate with um, Apple Kid here. He's an inventor, though kind of a slob at the same time. Orange Kid is yep. stupid. There's also Orange Kid. Orange Kid's like the popular inventor kid who all the girls like, I guess. But he's really terrible at inventing things, and he's kind of a waste of time if you give him your money. So don't. Well, he can get stuff, so you can get good gadgets for Jeff. Yeah, I, I guess so. I'm going to skip it, though. That's a long-term investment I'm not particularly interested in. So next up, next thing we have to do is go to... Um, Peaceful Rest Valley, which in this version is actually referred to as Tom for 10 Mike and Games points. Chirp, chirp. Chirp, chirp. chirp. <laughs> Grateful Dead Valley. Um, oh. Apparently changed <laughs> due to like the name of the band. But Probably just because it's sort of creepy. Not entirely sure. Who knows? Here we are, Grateful Dead Valley. 
The um, enemies here can mess you up. They can. This is a mole. He's actually not an enemy, as which is like the first thing he says. I'm not an enemy. But he tells you uh, how you can withstand, sometimes withstand uh, attacks that would kill you by getting, by having your guts level up. And I'm really not seeing anybody, which is fortunate, because like Tom said, these enemies can mess you up. Wait. So here's the octopus statue. Oh, isn't that supposed Turbo to Turbo tip change. In the localization, it was changed from an octopus to a pencil. Because I guess pencils are more American and less weird. And octopuses are more Japanese. Oh, look. Here's some enemies. All right. Two. So these guys can... Uh, the UFO here, its biggest uh, thing that it can really do that's super annoying is um, give, you a give you a cold yeah and colds are basically like a a more mild version of the poison status effect which also shows up in this game only much later on this guy's just taking away all our psychic Stop points it. which isn't fair Stop at all it. now now he's got a buddy to, to who's do also it. doing it too oh how rude they, they don't want us to milk them this, but the website Games Done Quick hosts charity speedrun marathons every year. The last one actually raised 51.5 million. Wow, that's awesome. I've, I think I've heard of these guys, Games Done Quick. It seems like a name that I know, but um, I haven't really looked into it much. That's super cool. I may take a look at their work because I'm all about that stuff. Whenever there's like a, a charity um, marathon that I know about, I usually try and watch it at the very least. Um, oh, here we go. We got the the cold, the cold, and just try and get the word out there about that stuff because I think that's a super cool way for the uh, gaming community to sort of rally behind um, good yeah. causes. Now we leveled up. We learned uh, something. Yeah, something or or another. I'm gonna try healing. I don't know if this will work. Nope. Yes, it did. Oh. Yeah. There, there's an item which actually does the same thing, but and I just yeah. and that's why I figured that you that healing didn't actually work on that yeah. for the longest time. But then I just discovered this and oh wait, that's not fifty one point five million. That's one point five million dollars. Okay. The uh, the resolution on the streaming screen. I uh, was a little bit low. I'm looking over at the actual chat now. That's still an incredible amount. I guess 51.5 million would be <laughs> a little, a little much. Still, that's impressive stuff, and that's um, that's definitely something I like to to see the uh, community do. Yeah. And I really don't know what I mean by gaming community. That's just sort of this term that people invented. I'm not really sure what a gaming community is. It's just sort of the uh, maybe a streaming community. Well, I don't even like. I don't even know if uh, the idea of like these communities. Oh, whoa! That's uh, he. He doesn't like you. That hurts. All right. But uh, that's just sort of the like the de facto term for. Um, people with an interest who did something good. Yeah. Like the blank community. It's gonna steal some more PSI. That's gonna be um that could have been bad because now we're down to six and of course it Take takes five, five to be able to use but our we're almost out. Yep. I guess we don't really need to heal. Not yet. We'll just go to the uh hotel Order some room service, maybe. So now we're getting a call from Apple, Apple Kid. Kid, and he's telling us that he came up with an invention. Octopus eraser or whatever. Yeah. And that invention we need to go go meet him in the park for. Yeah. So cool. he can give us the goods. I hope we don't meet up with the trees. Oh, it's, yeah. Those enemies are fun, but not really. They're actually much more difficult in, um... Oh, there we go, guys. The mushroom status effect. You'll get to see it. It's not fun. We'll have 
have to go back through that cave or go to a hotel if we want to Um, do. hospital, I think, actually. Uh, There's a guy in there who... Yeah, I know. I messed up, okay? Sorry. <laughs> are, you okay? are you all right? Oh, uh, yeah, so we know we have this mushroom on our head. Right now, everything's fine, but if you see the control, the controls jar all of a sudden, we also want to avoid battles. Because even though that last one went pretty well, they can go south really quickly. Yeah, the controls are working pretty fine, though. As of right now. Yeah. Hey, Apple Kid. So he's got this um, invention for us. It's going to help us clear the, the... Oh, there we go. There we go. Now everything is weird. Down is left. Right is down. Left is up. Okay. I think I got a hand of this now. Let's go find that hospital, though. Because, uh, interestingly, um, there are, like, characters in this game who really want to buy the mushrooms on your head. <laughs> For whatever reason. We're like toads now. Kinda. Oh, man. Wait, now I think it changed again. And now the controls are just opposite. Yeah. Oh, interesting turbo fact, Tom. Uh, see the uh, Tucson Hospital here? Yeah. And the localization, that Red Cross hospital symbol is not there. Hmm. They removed it. Um, some people say it's because of like religious re reasons, but I think it's just probably because it has a similarity to what, like the actual Red Cross, right? It might. I don't know. So we just sold them the mushroom for fifty dollars, mm -hmm. which is nice because that's once again the same amount that it costs to stay at a hotel, which we'll be staying at here. Yeah, we'll, we might. We'll be in our cozy beds. Yeah, we might as well. Oh, okay. These enemies are actually somewhat rare. They're cops with runaway dogs. The runaway dogs, of course, are no issue. We've been fighting them since the beginning of the game, and they're really weak at this point. The cops aren't but too bad. They aren't too bad, but they can deal more damage than the dogs, at the very least. Yeah. A considerable amount more. Especially if they get smashes, and if I can recall. Yeah. But everything went a-okay. It sh sure did. It sure did. Um, the uh, Tanzura brothers will be a prominent figure in this game. We'll be coming back to them in a, in a while. For now, let's just stay at the hotel with the $50 we got from our mushroom. And we're going on a minute, an hour, uh, not a minute, an hour 13. And I'm actually going to say we're going to quit there for after we save here. It's, um, we'll probably stream a little bit longer after today yeah but there's other there's other um, things I have to attend to so um, pretty pretty nice go at it so far thanks you guys for watching it's been great yeah um, really like the speedrun idea I'll be researching that next time we'll we'll have Paula and we'll we'll do stuff yeah we'll probably get Paula next time we might even go as far as Jeff's location or we might not. Depends on how things play out. It'll probably be about a two-hour stream, I yeah. think. All right. And that's next time we play this game. Yes. Yeah. Which will be probably soon. It'll be soon. Yeah. It'll be. A, we're we're taking a little bit of a reprieve from Parallel Worlds. Yeah. It's um. It'll it'll be either Mario hacks or this. Yeah. All right. See you guys.